Welcome to this video on diabetes mellitus. Now, this is just an overview of what we will study. First of all, definition of diabetes mellitus. We'll just throw it at you. <clears throat> so, you should be ready to tell what the diabetes mellitus definition is. You can say, as per the WHO, diabetes mellitus is defined as, that much is just a beginning, heterogeneous metabolic disorder. It is a metabolic disorder. Definitely you will say metabolic disorder, right? This you will not forget. Heterogeneous. Okay. Characterized by common feature of chronic hyperglycemia. See, chronic hyperglycemia. Some keywords here. With disturbance of carbohydrate, fat and protein metabolism. This kind of goes with the metabolic disorder. Okay. So, let us see how we can say this. Heterogeneous metabolic disorder. Heterogeneous means different, different kinds of metabolic disorder characterized by common feature of chronic hyperglycemia with disturbance of carbohydrate, fat and protein metabolism. This kind of goes with the metabolic disorder itself, right? So, just now what you can focus Diabetes mellitus, chronic hyperglycemia. So, as soon as somebody throws the definition at you, you can say, Diabetes mellitus defined. Somebody will ask you, you say, according to WHO, Diabetes mellitus is defined as chronic hyperglycemia. Okay, a common feature of chronic hyperglycemia which leads to heterogeneous metabolic disorders like disorders, or disturbances in the metabolism of carbohydrate, fat and protein. Okay. So, chronic hyperglycemia you should see. Now, here there is some term called metabolic syndrome. This metabolic syndrome is nothing but metabolic abnormalities which increase the risk of developing diabetes mellitus. For example, obesity. So, obesity is a metabolic syndrome. It can lead to chronic Hyperglycemia. Hyperglycemia itself is a metabolic syndrome. It can lead to chronic hyperglycemia or diabetes mellitus. Okay. So, obesity, hypertension, these and all can be metabolic syndrome. Okay. Now, what and all we have seen so far, we started off with diabetes mellitus. The definition of diabetes mellitus, chronic hyperglycemia, which leads to metabolic disorders or Disturbance in carbohydrate, fat and protein metabolism. Metabolic syndrome leads to diabetes mellitus. After that, we have to move on to the classification of diabetes mellitus. See guys, uh, you should understand one thing. There is diabetes mellitus and there is diabetes insipidus. Okay. Diabetes mellitus is different. Diabetes insipidus is different. So, let us... Just write that here. You have diabetes mellitus and diabetes insipidus. Okay. This is ADH deficiency. And diabetes mellitus is problem with glucose metabolism. Okay. So chronic hyperglycemia will be there in diabetes mellitus. Sugar levels will be more in diabetes mellitus. We are covering only diabetes mellitus now. That much you have understood, I hope. There we have type 1, type 2. Type 1 where it is insulin dependent. So, you can just be cured with in insulin. And type 2 is where it is non-insulin dependent. Okay. So, that's more like insulin is there, but it is not getting absorbed. Things like that. Okay. So, there are a lot of other types of diabetes mellitus also. So basically that and all we will look at the classification. So have you understood that we are looking at only diabetes mellitus in this video? We are not looking at insipidus. Okay. So what and all will be covered in diabetes mellitus? See before all this we need to also cover the importance. Why it is so important to learn diabetes mellitus in so much of detail? Because it is a leading cause of mortality and morbidity. Morbidity and mortality, it is a leading cause, diabetes mellitus. And uh, it is expected to continue as a major health problem. 
and uh, it leads to lot of other complications because it leads to lot of complications like uh, renal disease gangrene of lower extremities blindness so definitely they are giving a lot of importance to diabetes mellitus end stage renal disease ihd gangrene of lower extremities blindness in adults so this is where the importance of diabetes mellitus comes in right and in india the incidence its incidence is estimated 7% of adult population so 7% of adult population are affected with uh, diabetes mellitus mainly because of genetic susceptibility okay and lifestyle change high calorie diet etc so what exactly is the importance of diabetes mellitus all this what we have told you ischemic heart disease okay so that is why monitoring levels of glucose is very important lifestyle management is important etc fine it is 7% of indian pop adult population have they have um, diabetes mellitus so we will be looking at the classification etiology of uh, diabetes mellitus so you have type 1 type 2 other specific types of diabetes we'll come to all this gestational diabetes mellitus so after other they have put gestational gdm just gestational diabetes mellitus that is only during pregnancy the person can have diabetes we we'll look at all that pathogenesis of diabetes mellitus we have to look at morphologic features of diabetes mellitus clinical features of diabetes mellitus complications of diabetes uh, and the pathogenesis of complications both are important okay diagnosis of diabetes mellitus so this much we will cover in these subsequent videos so thanks for coming to this video and uh, just revising what we have seen the definition of diabetes mellitus then types of diabetes mellitus importance of diabetes mellitus etc see you in the next video bye bye